Hey guys, it's Jess and I am taking part in a collaboration today for DIY Christmas gifts and I'm also sharing a post for the Simon Hurley Create design team. So I'll definitely be using Simon's products for my project today. So I found these clear ornaments at Michael's last year and I got them on a super crazy sale because it was right after Christmas. Um, they're really cheap and inexpensive to begin with, but I got them for even less. So it was a real steal. I traced out the back of the ornament just in case you don't have a circle die that's the same size, but I do happen to have one that's the same size, so I just ended up using the stitch circle die. Um, but if you don't have one, just trace out the back of the circle so that you know how large to make your backer piece. We're going to be making an ornament today. I stamped out that silly, adorable little caroler from the Caroling Squad stamp set from Simon Hurley Create, and I'm using my mini Missy to stamp that and then stamp it again onto a full sticky back post-it note. And then I'm going to use my scissors and fussy cut this so that I can use it as a mask. Uh, now I'm going to cover up my stamped image that I stamped directly onto my little white cardstock circle back there. And then once I have that all um, fussy cut out, I'm going to put this mask right on top of that. And then I will be able to stamp another image and it will look like that image is behind my first one. So it creates a scene, it adds depth and dimension to your projects and it just makes it a little bit more interesting interesting and exciting, and I'm always up for that. <laughs> uh, so once I'm finished with that, I will go ahead and uh, stamp out the Christmas tree image from Caroling Squad as well. Uh, and that I just felt, I kind of played around with the positioning. I wasn't really sure exactly where I wanted it to go. I thought maybe off to the side, maybe right in the middle. I was having a hard time choosing. <laughs> I really wanted to include the star, but the way that it worked out with his positioning on there, it just kind of made it seem like like he had a star on top of his head. You couldn't really see the Christmas tree that much. So I did end up moving the Christmas tree up quite a bit and I'm just using the scrapbook.com black hybrid ink pad to stamp this out because I've had good results coloring with Copic markers with this. Removing the um, mask there and I um, I think I actually use my Spectrum Noir Classiques for this but regardless alcohol markers seem to work really well with these. Uh, I'm just stamping out a couple of music notes also from that Simon Hurley Create uh, Caroling Squad stamp set. This has a lot of great little images so you can help create your scenes. Uh, I just wanted it to, to make it more clear that he was singing a really loud Christmas carol in front of the tree uh, and then now I am going to go ahead and color up my image with the Spectrum Noir Classic seek markers. This is an alcohol based marker and this is the replacement for the Spectrum Noir um, original coloring system marker. I really like them. I've been super enjoying coloring with them lately and I think I'm getting pretty good results so um, I definitely recommend these. They're a really great product. Uh, I am going to go ahead and pop on some music for you while I finish up the coloring here and then I'll be right back with you and we'll talk about the collaboration and the giveaway as well.
All right, so now that the coloring is done, I'm just adding a little bit of white splatter using the Distress Spray Stain in Picket Fence. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove that mask and start assembling my, uh, the rest of the ornament, I should say. I'm gonna go ahead and heat emboss a sentiment that just says Merry Christmas. This will mostly be hidden by our shaker elements at the bottom, um, but I think it's a fun little surprise when you do shake it around to see it. But for the most part, this won't be visible. That's okay with me. Um, all right, so let's talk a little bit about the giveaway and the hop while we are creating here. Uh, so the hop is going to feature a ton of different DIY gift ideas for the Christmas season this year. So be sure to check out the description below to hop to the next person on the list and keep on hopping so that you don't miss any of these awesome ideas. Uh, now the hop is really special because all of the things that are being made in these videos are also being given away. So you have a chance to win everything that you're seeing being made in these videos. I think that's really awesome and a super fun idea. So in order to be entered for my giveaway of this super cute little Simon Early Create ornament, uh, all you have to do is just leave a comment on this video. My giveaway is open to U.S. residents only just because of the shipping costs. Uh, and so uh, if you are in the U.S. and you would like to win this ornament, just drop a comment on the video by November 28th and you will automatically be entered to win. Be sure to check back and see if you are a winner. Um, I will reply to the winner's comment on this video when I select that winner, uh, and then you will have 48 hours to claim your prize or a new winner will be chosen. So I did go ahead and tie a bow on the top, uh, fill the ornament with shaker bits and adhere it all together so that it doesn't fall apart when you shake it. And that finished off the ornament, you guys. I think it's really cute, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. I really hope you liked the video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video really soon.